millionaire. Somebody's a billionaire. Somebody is healed. Somebody has lost major weight. Somebody has gained healthy weight. That is proof that you can do it too. Welcome back to your girl's channel my name is Tylee if you guys are new if you're returning thank you guys as always I love you so much and if you're new subscribe girl okay we have fun over here and I would love to have you as part of my family y'all let me tell y'all <laughs> being a woman being a human I just started tearing up out of nowhere um, as you guys can see, I just left a lucid dream meditation, extound meditation, um, and it was so good. It was so good. It was so relaxing. It was so calming, and um, to be honest, like I just there are so many things going on in my life, and I don't feel like I have complete control. I feel like um the closer i get to god the more i feel attacked and sometimes i'm like god like help me to hear your voice help me to hear your voice because i feel like there's so many voices it's your voice it's the enemy and then there's god's voice and i do not want to make decisions based off of money decisions based off of um emotions i want to make decisions off of where God is telling me to go and I read this devotional every morning and it just keeps talking about God will provide all your needs and preparation and separation and I'm just like I don't know like I don't I don't have clarity you get what I'm saying and sometimes it can be like frustrating because this year has just been so surprising and um I don't know like sometimes in, in when I feel all these different things it just makes me emotional you get what I'm saying so um, that's just what I'm experiencing today but as you guys could see I went to the lucid dream sound meditation and it was so good you guys like wow I'm definitely coming back or I'll definitely book another um, class and if you guys don't know lucid dreaming is when you are dreaming and you are aware that you're dreaming while you're dreaming and I've definitely experienced that while I have dreamed before I think her next one is in June or July and her office is in Sandy Springs I'll put all of the information in the description box below and I mean 10 out of 10 of experience y'all I ended up falling asleep and you're not supposed to do that <laughs> I end up falling asleep, but that's how relaxed. That's how you know a person is relaxed when they end up falling asleep. But the sound experience, the sound meditation was like over an hour, and I was up for like a long time. And then after a while, your girl just fell asleep. Okay, <laughs> I had went to this event because I am so much more of a spiritual person. I am trying to learn how to see the old the old me versus the higher self me and i really want to tap into spirituality this year when it comes to learning what sage does the chakras um crystals like getting into the whole spirituality flow 
Janae Aiko, Big Sean, and I'm not sure if you guys follow Jay Shetty. They are very, very big in their spirituality journey. And I just aspire to gain more knowledge when it comes to that area of my life. Um, because I believe like our energy and our minds are super powerful that we can change any situation. And I really do want to get like rid of the whole scrolling on social media and just filling up my time with either being productive or reading or learning more about like, you know, financial literacy, that type of thing. So I hope this is not all over the place, but I'm literally just saying what I'm thinking. So if it's all over the place, that's literally how I'm thinking right now. And yeah. So I just left that experience and it was so good. I highly recommend if you come to Atlanta to book your class. And yeah, I'm about to head on home. So let's go. Hey y'all, so your girl is about to cut her hair into a freaking bob. I'm gonna get some highlights, I'm gonna switch it up, and I'm excited y'all because I've been thinking about cutting my hair for a while. I don't know, I just, I'm just over my length of hair. I feel like it's in a weird space. It's not short, but it's not super long either. So I'm like, you know what? Let's switch it up, let's cut it into a bob. I did do a bob um when i lived back in virginia so it's been a while and i've never dyed my hair i never done highlights to my natural hair so yeah i'm excited so we gonna go in i am running a little bit late so i gotta get in there because she's waiting for me so i'm bringing y'all along Guys, it's your reaction. Oh, my shorty bad. It's so cute. I love it. You love it? Yeah, I love it. It's so cute. I think you get like mature bad bitch, you know? Yeah, because who paid for it, you know? Yeah, he paid for it. We're going to get his mom Look reaction. Look at Teddy's get over how freaking cute my hair came out oh my gosh it's just giving like luxury i mean not luxury it's giving classy black grown woman vibes sexy mature you you get it you get it you guys see it um and this is actually like my first time getting color 
like highlights and now I feel like I'm low-key addicted because I was already talking to my hairstylist about like fall and maybe like switching up the color again like I don't know it's just something new that I've done that I never done with my hair before and I'm just loving it you know new year new me okay um but I am back home I am making some um some plant-based steak tacos tonight this is what we're gonna eat like I cannot get over how cute my hair is. It is amazingly cute. Ah! I can't get over it. Slaying, right? I'm slaying. Bad bitch activated. All right, y'all. So I told y'all a while ago that I was um, trying the poppy drinks and they're actually really good if you guys don't know they're a probiotic and they're for your gut health so these are really good but I have not tried Olipop and it's the same thing it's um, prebiotic it's just a different brand so we gonna try it Ooh. and I'm not really a soda drinker like I really just drink a lot of water if I do switch up my water maybe i'll have like wine a cocktail um what else do i drink gatorade but i've been trying to not do as much gatorade stuff because it has like a lot of sodium so oh put you over here the lighting's better oh this good cherry oh this is the tropical punch kind it's so good if y'all hear a loud noise in the back it's the washer and dryer so mm. i think i like olipop better than the poppy drink okay okay hi while we're on the topic of drinks for my protein shake i either like Okay, let me back up. I'm getting too excited. When I work out throughout the week, if you guys don't know, I work out Monday through Friday, and I try to work out in our community gym downstairs four times a week, and then I'll do like a fun workout class, which is my Pilates, I usually do it on Fridays, and then I'll do yoga one day throughout the week, whether that be Thursday or Saturday, it just depends on like, what event, what yoga events are going on or like wherever I wanna go. So that is like my workout schedule. I'll usually, nine times out of 10, I'll make my protein shakes, but if I don't and I'm running, you know, behind, um, I use this Alani Protein Fit Shake and this is cookies and cream. This is so good, y'all, so good. But if y'all go to Walmart or Target, make sure y'all check the expiration date because one time I bought something and it was like the expiration has said 2022 and i'm like why do y'all still have stuff in the store on the shelf and it says 2022 and it's disgusting how i found out i i literally like drank drank it and i felt like a chunk it was it was so nasty i was so i was so pissed but make sure y'all check the date because i learned that the hard way but it didn't make me sick or anything it was just like why the hell is there a chunk in my freaking protein shake and it's because it was old another one that i like i got this at walmart this is the solent strawberry this is actually good so this one has 20 grams of protein this one has 20 grams of protein 400 calories 140 calories so these two are really good but these two are like my goal to protein shakes you never been to this place before. What's the name of it? Good morning, guys. It's baby's birthday. I'm getting old, baby. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sometimes I still can't believe, like, we're doing this whole adult thing. Like, <laughs> I remember when we was, like, in college. Mm -hmm. In college, we were so hyped to get our first apartment, like, to have our own space that we slept on the floor. No bed, no furniture, nothing. It was just dumb hype. Dumb hype to pay bills. <laughs> it 
we were really excited to have our own space. I think we were over like roommates at that time. And we were so excited to live on our own. Now it's just work and work. And work. And more work. But I made baby some breakfast. I made him some breakfast tacos. We have eggs, bacon, cheese, avocado on a soft taco shell and some yogurt. Take our vitamins. It's like when you're an adult, you don't wanna miss out because that's money. But when you're a kid, you Dude, wanted them days off. If we was millionaires, huh? I said, imagine if we was millionaires. If we were millionaires, we life would be so different. We would be out the country right now. Life would be so different. <laughs> I'm trying to be Baby. in Cancun. I'm trying to be in Cancun. I'll be like in Italy, dressing different. Ooh, my wardrobe would be fire. Wait. With the little Italy hats that the girls be wearing, like in pairs and stuff. Oh my gosh. See? You just took a pill? It's not about the pill. Though. See, no. I'm shaking, babe. Uh-uh. See, he's he trying to give me y'all. If y'all don't know anything about me, I can only take small pills. When it comes to big pills, I always choke trying to swallow them. And he over there about to choke. Yo, I cannot do big pills. Like, uh-uh. Won't get my ass. I've always had trouble trying to down pills, guys. Mm -mm. I don't know what's going to happen when, like, we have kids one day. Because you got to take those prenatal pills, and they're big. No, you can take pills. No, I can't. They're mm -hmm. going to have to prescribe me, like, some liquid type listen, of shit. No, no, listen. They have a lot of shit out there. If they don't have Wait, listen. I've another form with all the medication Wait, they have. So I've had a pill get stuck in my throat. I didn't have to freak out. All I have to do was just relax. I can still breathe. I felt it in my throat. I can still feel air. Mm -mm. All you gotta do is take water and push it down. You're overreacting. That's your windpipe. If anything gets stuck, how are you supposed to get air? You can breathe. It's not that big. The pill doesn't. The pill isn't big enough to cover the whole windpipe. Mm -mm. You just gotta drink water to push it down. You know, some things are just not for everybody. Man, it's not. It's not that. Look, I'm not gonna be dying off of a pill. They gonna, I'm gonna go to the ER. They're gonna be like, so what brings you in today? I almost died because I choked on a pill. That sounds crazy. You can't choke. On and then pills. to have like a medical bill because of a pill? You can't choke on a pill. I'll be enough. darned if I'm about to have a medical bill because of a it's pill. It's not big enough. Google it. It's big enough to choke. No, it's not. You're choking yourself. No. You feel it in your throat and you think you're choking. Last time, I, I went down. It didn't go all the way down. No, Whoa. last time. It was smooth and then it got right here. <laughs> you saw me last time. You were a witness. No. Wait, did you take your arm pill? Right here. Okay, let's see you take it. No, I take it with food. <laughs> <laughs> the only one I can really take is like my birth control. Why are you so extra, man? <laughs> I'm not extra. I'm not about to die off no pill. Yeah, yeah this is crazy. Look, we all have our own things. Okay. Thank you, God, for the food by receiving just in our body. Let this food give us strength and healing. Please make sure none of us choke on pills. Amen. Hey, man. Tootie ain't gonna choke on no pill. Tootie ain't swallowing me. Dang. How long have you dated me about 23? So, when did we meet? When we were how old? You don't know how old you were when we met? 18. I was 18. No, I was 19. Exactly. You was 18. Damn, bro. I feel old as fuck. We met when we was 18 and 19. I had a lot of ups and downs. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. So it's towards the end of the day now, and I'm about to take Trey out to dinner. Um, so I'm just wearing this cute little crop top, black jeans. I never wear these jeans, but I always have them and then some cute little sandals but since we are waiting because i'm in the middle of uploading a video um i'm gonna give baby his 
birthday gift. I got him a little gift. Happy birthday, baby. What do we have in here? Some Ooh. stuff you need. Okay. These are fire. Ain't it summertime? What? You know they are? They got a pocket right there. They shorts. Okay, good. <laughs> How do you mean do I know they are? I'm just checking. Those are my workout shorts though. I don't think those are workout shorts. I'm gonna rock those. Okay. Oh, what kind of shirt is this? Oh, muscle shirt. Oh yeah, because you know I'm gonna show my muscles. I like when you wear muscle shirts. All of them so, nice. yeah. so I got a black one, a gray one, and a white one. You gotta let me know if it fits you. If not, I can no, they switch it out. I got you a size medium because I think large will be too big. And where then, you get this from, baby? Um, where else? I don't know. Nah, we should see if you can guess this because I really want to know. No, I don't shop at the mall. Where'd you get from? Fashion Nova? No, I don't shop. Where'd you get them you from? You being funny. I'm going to go get some more of these. Amazon. Oh, wow. Amazon got everything. Amazon got everything, bro. Let's So, yeah. Happy birthday, baby. Love baby. you. My overall experience is a 7.9. That was a motherfucking roach. Oh no. Yo, that joint was big. Oh no, and I got my toes out. In the car. That was a big roach. Now, now we can talk. Wait. I thought the shrimp was good. I thought the food, the catfish was good. Um. I thought the food was good. I would give the food an 8.5 out of 10 by itself. The service was good. He just kept forgetting my drink, so it's kind of annoying and reminding somebody. Um, yeah. You know, three times. But overall, I give it a 7.9 out of 10. That's not bad. Yeah, I would give mine an eight, 8 out of 10. Like, I think the ambiance, the service, the bartender was really nice. And it was cool. He was, well, he was really nice. I just... My meal was supposed to come with grits, <laughs> and it came with fries. Oh, and then I told the nigga mac and cheese, and he said, I did not hear that. Yes, you did. I told you that. <laughs> but so. other than that, it was good. All right, y'all. So we made it back home, and tell me why. Why is it blue in here? Tell me why I'm about to face on my mom because I think she tried to call me, but we were out at the restaurant or whatever, and it was kind of loud in there, so... Let's see what mom thinks. Oh, wait, no. She texted me. Let's see what her reaction is. Hey. Hey, boo, is that your hair? Yeah, I cut it. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to call you because I'm like, I'm about to wrap my hair. <laughs> um, did, did it yesterday? On sun, yeah, yesterday. Oh, hon, that is so cute. I know. What did Trayvon say? He loves it. I'm so glad you did it, hon. I know. And the blonde is good because you. Oh man, that is so cute. I know. Look. 
good. Look how healthy it is. I know. She was like, your hair is going to grow back super fast because I cut all the dead ends off. Say hi to the vlog, Mom. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I love it. I love it, too, man. I'm about to get mine done, too. What you about to get done? I just asked the teacher last night. I said, bring your scissors in tomorrow. We're cutting all this. Cutting it off. Good morning, y'all. What's today? Today is Tuesday. And because it was Trey's birthday yesterday, I did not get my normal monday workout so we have to get a workout in i think i'm gonna actually do an hour instead of my regular 30 minutes so i can make up for yesterday and then today's of course because i know that your girl has been working out consistently for like a two to three weeks five days a week so i'm proud of myself it actually felt weird not to work out yesterday so y'all like my new set oh my gosh i have to show y'all my new amazon workout set i swear like getting cute workout sets makes the workout better i know it's a mental thing but it is what it is like it does it makes me want to go harder it makes me feel cute y'all get it but i got this from amazon and it makes my butt look so good y'all look it makes my butt look good can you see it can y'all see it it makes my butt look so good yes i'm like <laughs> i'm like and yeah we're gonna go get this workout in this set will be in my amazon storefront link in the description box but let's go y'all because i'm ready to get this workout in we're going hard today So we have made it. I already. I always start off with all right, y'all. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. Like, what's up with that? But we have made it to my allergist appointment. So I go to the allergist once a week. I should be going twice, but I'm like, look, I'm going at the pace at which I can do right now. Um, so I've been going here for probably. Mm. it might be coming up on a year damn that was fast it might be coming up on a year but anyway i'm going to this allergist appointment because one thing about these georgia allergies it's nothing to play with last year in july i almost died and i'm not being extra you guys like i almost like the allergy season kicked my ass like i was literally fighting for my life i thought i had covid it was really really bad um but thanks to this allergist spot i have been able to enjoy life at a such a better in such a better way because i can actually like go to the park go downtown to piedmont park go to the battery um the belt line and really be like outside and enjoy outdoor things to do because before this i would just be like you know what i'm staying inside 
I was literally allergic to outside like literally sneezing eyes burning like it was just I was not enjoying the quality of life like it was it was really sad I'm like damn I really couldn't go outside but now I can do these things so I make it a priority to go because look one thing about this year we gonna do what we need to do for our health and wellness so I'm gonna go in here and get these shots so let's go y'all today's Wednesday so yesterday I went to this workout slash mental health check-in event that misses two weeks out on Instagram Halani um, had posted at her gym the loft which is downtown now she actually moved her gym location and y'all I some, it's something about mental health events that make me feel so good i feel like i'm pouring into myself um and it's just everything it's just what i needed to hear and i really want to share with you guys what i had learned at the event so basically there were like a, a room of girls we were all in a circle and it was basically an open floor to be vulnerable, tell people, tell the audience what you're going through, no judge, uh, you know, people are not judging you, this is a safe space, you know, just basically vent and um, there was two ladies and they were basically giving advice um, based off of what the girls were experiencing. One of the things I learned at the event was your peace is your power and i think that is so important because the moment you let somebody have power is when you're not at peace anymore like it just makes sense your peace is everything literally everything and a lot of times i think uh, um i think of peace as like your mind because it's really mental like if you let somebody get your peace they basically have like a part of your mind, which is super powerful. Um, another thing that I learned is this lady has said that she was going through like an identity crisis. And then she was like, maybe I shouldn't even call it crisis, but I just feel like I'm trying to find myself. Like I'm trying to figure out if this, like she was a stay at home wife and she was like, I don't know if I should be doing this. I don't know if I should be doing that. And, um, she had like three therapists and it really resonated with me because more of the story, the ladies in the front gave advice of like, advice is good, but what is good, what is good to you? What is the definition of a good housewife to you? And that really stood out to me because sometimes I'm like, darn, am I doing enough? Am, is this right? Like I'm so used to y'all, I'm so used to like working a nine to five, having a business, making a ton of reels, answering the emails, just doing so much, being there for my partner, being there for my dog. And I'm just so used to like being everywhere that it just feels so weird to focus on one thing. And also not to compare yourself because the moment we, we question ourselves and we're like, should we be doing this? Should we be doing that? It's a comparison factor because you're taking all of these um things that you have saw maybe on media things that you've heard advice that you got from other people and it's just the ladies in, in that were giving advice they were like you have your wires crossed and sometimes it's really important to shut out the noise like you get most of your answers when you shut out the noise and that was just that was just the answer that i needed to hear because advice is great but what is best for you? You get what I'm saying? A lot of times we do other things because people are like, oh, you be good at this, you be good at that. 
And at the end of the day, does it make us happy? Is it something that we want to do? You get what I'm saying? Because people will really, really um, give you ideas and then we'll end up doing all these things and then we feel overwhelmed and it's like, it wasn't even something I really wanted to do. <laughs> and it really comes down to what works for you. It's so simple. What are your non-negotiables? What are your boundaries? What is good for you? I just had to say this because it just really resonated with me. What is good for me? You know, regardless of what your parents say, regardless of what your friends say, what's good for you though? What is good for you? And that was just so powerful. Um, like you really do have the answers when you're in your quiet space, when you are not looking at a screen, like when you're just in your own space and it's quiet, so many answers come in. That's why prayer is important because it's quiet. Like that was a game changer, like wow. That's why I love to go to mental health events because I just feel like it helps me become the better version of myself. And I felt that lady that was talking about the identity crisis because in the beginning of this vlog, I was telling y'all like, I feel like I'm becoming this new person and this old person is here and sometimes I want to tug back and then this new person is here and I'm trying to like go, you know, become that new person and it can be challenging. So I don't know what this is for, but do what is best for you. That's the word of the day. That is the word of the day. I had to literally sit down and think about that on my way home. I was like, wow. And it also, they also talked about trusting yourself. Sometimes we're scared to do certain things because we don't fully trust ourselves. And I'm like, damn, that's deep. You know what I'm saying? Um, trusting yourself, believing that you could do anything you set your mind to. And this is the thing, especially if somebody has already done what you're trying to do, that's proof that it can be done. It's proof. Somebody's a millionaire, somebody's a billionaire, somebody is, it doesn't even have to be finances. Somebody is healed. Somebody has lost major weight. Somebody has gained healthy weight. That is proof that you can do it too. All you have to do is become the person that you're trying to become what does the person do do they work out every day do they pray about it do they read the bible whatever that is for you be the best version of yourself every single day every day is like a new opportunity i used to wait for like the next month like the first of the next month because i'm like oh it's a fresh start you know i'll just wait till next month i don't even do that no more if it didn't work this day we'll try again tomorrow just start just start but yeah, y'all, I have made me some breakfast and I'm so proud of myself. But y'all, this morning I had whipped me up some green drinks. Your girl is on a healthy kick. I love it. Um, I already got my workout in this morning. I went early, y'all, because I was trying to get it out the way. Your girl was trying to get it out of the way, baby. So what I do is because the the shots, these health shots, well, I don't know about this one because I never tried this flavor, but these health shots can be nasty, y'all. Like, I'm talking about nasty, okay? I'm being honest. But that doesn't mean don't do it because your body needs it. <laughs> so these health shots could be nasty. I should try it. I should try it. Oh, gosh, I gotta brace myself. Mm, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. But what I do is, I'm still doing it the way I want to do it. I will make myself a green drink. And if you guys want um, to know where I got these from, I got these from Amazon. They're in my Amazon storefront. I'll link it below. And what I do is I take the shot, pour it in. That way I don't taste the shot like y'all i'm not a shot person even when it comes to liquor baby i'm not a shot person okay um if y'all do see me taking shots it's probably a lemon drop shot a green tea shot or that's it 
that's like the only two shots that are like really really smooth make sure y'all put ice in it make sure it's nice and cold mm. so my goal for this month is to greet or my goal is to drink one of these a day monday through friday i don't know if i'm gonna do it on the weekend but monday through friday and what i put in here is spinach kale celery lemon and cucumbers and then i'll do a healthy shot and that's it that was definitely on my heart to share that with you guys because anything that resonates with me i definitely want to give it back to you guys because you just never know what people are going through okay life be life sometimes and it is okay to go through things it is okay to share what you're going through um like you're not the only one going through what you're going through you get what i'm saying so it, it makes you feel better when other people share their challenges because then you're like oh, okay i feel better like i'm not the only one out here going through this you get what i'm saying so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe become part of the family we have a good time over here girl i keep it real authentic vulnerable with you guys this is definitely a safe space and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye y'all